So, how much? I mean, Tin is experienced. Tin is Hanzo is fairly new. Fairly do you, new. Do you think that's going to play into this? It's the old bet versus the new, young and hungry. We'll see. We'll see what happens, man. Usually, you always bet on young and hungry, but I like Tin. Let's see how much how much Wesker does in this. Yeah. Oh, he oh, gets and him. And he hits Wesker early. This is huge. He can set the pace. He doesn't finish his combo though. He just goes with a simple one. I think he wants to play within his uh, combo skill range here. Well, oh, and get this full screen and that he look has at right that. now. Yeah, he hard switches out. Smart thing to do. Hanzo the Doom did. missiles. He didn't respect the he Doom did. missiles. He got hit by him. Hanzo did mix him up right there. This is huge damage. Taskmaster hasn't even been touched barely. Oh, oh and he up exchanges. exchanges. Is he going to land the OTG? No, he no he's going to let him get up. Yes. Wow. Good slide. Now he's, he's poisoned. Locking him down with these poison arrows. That is so demoralizing. You're yeah. poisoned and you're taking chip damage. Taking you're chip just damage. It's just compounding on each other. Wow, he lands a happy birthday Wesker Super. Doesn't do, do a lot of damage. Yeah, he's just a, oh, I don't know oh he didn't get anything. Thing. And he texts the air grab right there. That could have saved Hanzo's butt right there. Oh, boy. Nice. He finally gets the OTG. Hanzo landing combos. Rare sight. Wow. Gimlet. And, and mine has is going to be out of X Factor. It's going to be very hard for him to come back from this. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be tough. I don't know. He's hard switching a lot because this team, the way Hanzo works, is he slowly dwindles you down. So you got to start switching a lot. Yeah. Now it's going to be task versus task. Tin is not calling assists. Just chipping. Yep. Doom is not healthy. I'd be surprised if he keeps calling them. Uh, is that going to hit? He's just chipping him out. It's huge. He's out of meter now, though. He is out of meter. So he's going to be sitting there playing an honest game. He, he does have X-Factor. Is that a hard switch again? It was, and he catches him with the shield skills. Wow. That's and that's, a tough break. that's one of mine's best characters that right is, there. He's gone. Self-proclaimed best character. So now it's going to be no health Taskmaster. And it's full health. He does get the hit. Oh, this is him. huge. It's going to hurt. He might do an exchange combo. I'm not sure. but No, he's just going to. I think he's just going to super all the with it. And then knockdown, arrows, down shot. Nice. About 10% left. Yep. Nice. Throw. throw. And he walked up confidently with that. <laughs> So still he, tough though. And dude's still regenerating back there. He's, oh, dashed under last minute. Oh boy, Wesker's doing the work. This is what we were talking about. Oh, for some reason, it whipped right there. Oh, he gets the throw though. Yep, you can't, uh, you can't convert. Air throw, here we go. It's going to kill yeah. him. This is what Hanzo wanted though. He said he wanted level 3 Doom. Level 3 Doom. nuts. And he did. He stopped calling him to get the life, so he has a pretty good health here. And the command oh, grab. he's got command grab. He's got two meters, so he could do a team super. He kept Taskmaster alive. This may just do it. Oh, it's going to be close. Doom is surviving. He needs to kill Wesker. He's got a ton of meter, lots of chip damage. I smell tons of supers. There's not much time left yep. in this. He oh, can't yeah. zone too much. Why is he doing all these hit pieces? Oh, that's oh wow. He's just spamming hit him. Oh, right my God. <laughs> now Taskmaster has no life. He has no life. This is like an impossible situation. Supers. There it is. Oh, he's going to chip him out. One more. He's one more. Alive. He's going to get him. Yeah. Wow, that was very close to the end. Very clutch. And some really awkward gameplay right there, just mashing on hit missiles. <laughs> well, you would actually tell this to me on the right up here. On the yeah. right up that here, you should use, it you should use hidden missiles when you're kind of like Wesker or anyone is jumping around. Just, yeah, yeah, it's kind of funny that it ended up working out that way. I didn't think he'd have the know how to do it, but. Uh, well, he did. Yeah. In that, yeah, very clutch. Again, he whips. Tin's distance is a little off a little right off. now. little off. Maybe oh, and the missiles. A nervous when he gets hit back in the head. Again, this is 3 out of 5, not 2 out of 3 like the rest of the tournament. Yes. So. so, this is not over if Hanzo wins. Yeah, exactly. Nice. That new, uh, you can cancel the kick. The, uh, yes, that in, into bit. the arrow. Yeah, exactly. And the down arrow is crazy because of this really good mobility. And Wesker is doing damage. Oh, he, wow, really? I have no why seems, seems a little early to do that. Both the players, and it didn't work out, so now he's going to DHC. Both the players are doing very early, kind of easy, just don't want to mess their combos. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, oh wow. A huge mess up right there. Hanzo I'm takes a side. It. Just to try to get some, some breathing room here by doing this. Yeah. And he x factors because he just oh, wants to poison. breathe. Oh, oh, he's really got to keep Wesker out of here. Yeah, he does. He, he's playing lame, but uh, he's I got the missile game going. Yeah, this is where he wants. But he's wow, he's coming of in. He really wants to attack him. Tinges X factors randomly too. I don't understand why. Maybe oh, he's scared of getting chipped out. He's gonna kill Hawkeye right now. It's okay. It's true. Dark Wesker. It's not and level got three, him. but so now we got Doom with no X factor, but neither, mine doesn't have X factor at all. But three characters, and he has three meters. Yeah. So he's got a huge. I light think a, a level three is gonna pay. Pay out here, I think somewhere. I I can't see Doom as a comeback character. 
he has to, well, he's using his meter. Like, one of the big things for Doom, I think, is his level 3. Yeah. That'll get you back into a game. I don't know. But he's we're, not even going to get a chance. We're going to see Tim's level 3 right here, <laughs> and he's just going to huck one of these missiles right on Boom. Doom's head and put him in a casket. We're going to move to game 3. One wow. one. Back and forth. Back and forth action. Tim dominant that time. Just as dominant as Hanzo was the first time, though, so. And Wesker was the key there. Yeah, and Tim did what he did this time. Hanzo did what he wanted last time, which is get rid of Wesker early or keep him and make him survive long. Yeah. Oh, and he's, oh, nice. oh we got a happy Fame. birthday. Now, it doesn't really work with Wesker. You can't pick them both up. Oh, he's going to get Magneto. He's oh. going to get it. Oh, he got a boat. Oh, wow. Well, that was Wow, odd. that was some random stuff happening. It worked, it worked for Hanzo. Wesker's still alive. Magneto's still alive, but he's, he's bleeding, bleeding back there. 50, about 50% 50 life on Magneto. Wesker's about 50%, taking a lot of chip damage. Yeah, he's using that gunshot to stop Doom from coming out. He's oh, level, level 3. Man. Just get rid of the problem? I think he feels like this is the heart of his team. Yeah. He's yeah, well, I was noticing as soon as Hawkeye was coming in, he was actually getting exposed by Wesker pretty badly. Yeah, and here we go again. He might even just burn it all he should kill him. He should kill Hawkeye. Oh, yeah, it still seems him. early. It does seem early, but um, I'm not oh, sure. Oh, it works. It works. Yeah, though. I guess he knows better than we do. He right? very much. He either that or he just knows the life totals yeah. very well. We might see the X Factor level three happen pretty soon. Oh, you know? we could set up something here. Oh, nice. Oh. That's a nice little setup there, though. Oh, good break. Oh, and he gets the scramble hit. That made you all the help. This, this should have definitely killed Doom. Team Super, and he gets it on the gun shot for the two bars. I don't even think he right. needed it. So mine's up, 2-1. Mine one. is on the hill to win this whole tournament. Hanzo smirking right there, but behind that smirk, he's got to be frazzled, he nervous. Should, he he's should thinking be about thinking. A he, right now, he should be waiting. Do you think he should just take a little time before he hits yeah. the rematch button? But there's $1,000 on this on this OK, yeah. like, yes, I want to continue. There's $1,000 right here. That's right, baby. $1,000. Here we go. Starting off with Wesker, he's moving in. He does not want to get lamed out. You get the missiles. Nice Ooh, tech, and he tech. gets up. Wow, Happy this. birthday right off the bat. That's huge. He for just Tim. goes straight into super. I think not gonna risk any yeah, of the DAC dropping like sure. we're doing. Oh, oh, he doesn't DAC. Okay. He gets that crouching medium. Hawkeye is no longer an option right now. And that's his second character. So if Taskmaster dies, he has to come in and lose all that health. Whoa, he just sat into that. This is a really tough situation. He somehow needs to make Taskmaster survive long enough so Hawkeye comes oh, in. Oh, boy. Oh! He's calling that assist at a very bad time. And it's going to be all up to Dr. Doom. He does have oh, X-Factor level 3, gonna but I think him that's going to do it. That's it. That's it. Level 3 is in this. Oh, man. He doesn't even need to. It's wow. goodbye, Phoenix. Hello, Wesker. Hello, Wesker. Wow. He's the new star of the show, and Tim is our champ. Give it up for him. He played so well. Yeah, that he was... He played so well. That was very good. Okay, so uh, we are going to run back kind of what happened. Uh, I'm just waiting for a cue from our uh, replay man, uh, Chris, back there. Okay, Shinobi, man. He's the best in the business. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to him. All right, so wow, it looks like we are going to have the champ up here first. You want to grab a mic? Can, can we get him a seat, man? <laughs> oh, my God. Man, you get, you played great out there. You did it. How, how you feeling, man? You little like your heart racing. You, uh, you just won a thousand dollars, man. <laughs> you happy like, about uh, it? To be honest, like I really want to do it for uh, X-ray and Snake Dudes. Okay, right Because on. because I really want to fund them so they can go to a SoCal Regional. Oh wow! Yeah, because so you get I, the team together to yes. go there and show that you guys are the top players in the country. Yes, uh, like because we're all same the same team, part team mind. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, a lot of people. I gotta say, a lot of people on the forums are saying, "Where the hell is X-ray?" Yeah. Yeah. Why is he not here? Why is he? Yeah, not I feel here? like he. He, he definitely deserves a spot, but I feel like um, uh, since he has since he has, uh, has been doing inconsistently lately in the yeah. past three tournament, maybe that's why he doesn't get a spot. Maybe. But I'm pretty sure later on he will get a shine later again. All right. Oh, yeah. Well, and like you said, this a thousand dollars going to go towards that. So you're that's a very uh, yes. commendable thing yeah, to man, do with a thousand dollars. This guy's winning money, and what he's doing is helping out other people. His, his community, his crew, he's helping out, yeah. getting him to this, tournaments. This is a good champ. I'm glad out. you won, man. You know, yeah. I love Hanzo. He's a, he fought amazing. So you want to talk about that? We're actually going to queue up. Uh, the, the match I think the okay. whole like last match is that what we're gonna do okay okay so actually the first thing we're gonna be seeing is it's Doom right here so it's this little Doom versus your Wesker what do you think about all that bar you have to have a headache right now oh uh, in my head like I'm trying to get a command grab yeah but I can't because the hidden missile <laughs> just come out so fast yeah. yeah so I just gotta <laughs> block my way and you know it's, it's kind of like uh, 
like a funny lockdown yeah. almost right there. It's kind of like it's like Ryu versus like Rufus trying to get in, take yeah. some chip, trying to get in, take some chip, get in, you know, wait for the opportunity, yeah. you know. So, so after he won this one, what were you thinking? Like, that was the first game. I yeah, believe. he came up oh, real uh, quick, in, right? In the oh, in my side. head, um, I so feel, I feel like, I'll, oh, okay, let's go yeah. to the second round. This is your West, your Wesker. Yeah, it's just insane. as you can see, I X Factor level one and try to save him because Why? I know, because oh. because because I know that Wesker beats uh, Wesker beat Hawkeye and do him really well if he's in their face. So like, since I have two really great assists, two projectiles, yeah. I'm always Smart. in their face. Man, so you Smart. weren't kidding when you said you were gonna do everything you can to save Wesker. You yes. even cracked X Factor just so you could block and yes. keep him alive. Correct, because I, I told you like uh, he's very important against against a type of team like Hanzo, yeah. since he plays nothing but defense. Me X Factoring makes me play all offense. Yeah, you so it's kind of like a trade off. You definitely were taking advantage of some bad assist, Hawkeye assist calls there. Like um, the last two rounds, yes. Hawkeye came in and you got. You got both of them. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, um, because my goal is because I know I know he want, I know he has a tendency of mashing Hawkeye yeah. at a certain range. I so I kind of keep that in my head, you know. Yeah. You're like right there again. And, and, and it's the same situation where he mashed throw plus assist at the same time is kind of an option. It's like, but you mash throw twice, so you got the standing fierce and hit them both. Yeah. Correct. Which when you tech throws in this game, you should be mashing fierce because you might get the like three or four attacks. Yeah. To, to be honest, you know? to be honest, it's, it's better to mash yeah. in this game than not mash because since the grab is zero frame, it's so yeah. fast. You, I I'm, might I'm as well take that risk and mash. Yes, yeah. yes. I completely agree. Uh, we have discovered the same. <laughs> yeah, in our own playing, we figured pleasure. that out. Yes, yeah, so, thank you. Yeah, uh, really great job, Tim. I appreciate uh, it. Oh, oh, so, so yeah. Is there anything you want to say? Uh, you know, shout out to Boy. Yeah, he's here though. Yeah. Like, um, can I give some shout? Is that okay? Yeah, go for it. Dude. Um, your time. Um, I want, I want to give a shout out to X Ray because um, he's the guy that I train with yeah, a lot in Elk so. Grove, and also Snake Deuce. Oh yeah, that uh, guy's good Walk there. I'm surprised. This, he, this is an OG Snake. Yes. I remember that guy from CBS too, back in like the uh, Castro Valley Golf. What was it? No. Uh, uh, no, no, uh, uh, Sunnyvale Golf Lane. Yeah, yeah. yeah, those two he used to play there, man. That guy's a great player. He's yeah. been around forever. So. And my last, and my last shout. Oh, um, my last two shout is I want to give a shout to uh, Ty, Ty Sarati. Yeah. And um, thank you, Samantha, because she's the one that helped me got here. You know. Oh yeah. yeah so <laughs> shout out to uh, Samantha. I mean Samantha Ramirez. All right. Well, nice. congratulations. Yeah. Good job, dude. Uh, we couldn't have had a better champ. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate you. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. So we are going to lace you guys up with a grudge match. We have a grudge match. We have a grudge match because Champ, you know he hates losing. He couldn't let go. He wanted more. And this is Haunt making this. You want to you wanna talk? Yo, Haunt's on the mic. I just set this up because I laughed for like 10 minutes after uh, 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 Champ lost to Ultimate NorCal last time. And I know he wants to run it back. If anything, this is for my own like sick entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> see it. Let a rip. So we are Champ versus Hi, I'm Nasty. A little a bonus coverage. Yep. So let's rock and roll oh, with this, this one. Fun. This should be funny. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to play his Ghost Rider team, which he said he would if he ran into this guy again because he didn't think he was going to know how to play and, with his Ghost Rider. And again, we're showing you uh, what happened last oh, time. Yeah. Uh, uh, they still, they're still they still messing around. But yeah, just go ahead and check out the replay from the Ultimate NorCal. They're just rubbing it in Champ's face and as much can, as we can. And you can see Hiram Nasty landing these uh, meteor dives yeah. just to kill kill Phoenix. His whole team, really. Very quickly. Yeah. Nice, man. And, uh, Dark Phoenix, just not meant for this world. No. <laughs> not Skrull, yeah. apparently. Super Skrull had to take care of him. It's That's like fighting the Fantastic Four in one character, man. You're not going to win that. You know? <laughs> it's exactly what it yeah, is, actually. Exactly. <laughs> so, that was what happened last time. And so maybe, I don't know if that's going to happen again. Who knows, man. Uh, Champ kind of like, uh, almost at a soul-searching point with his characters, yeah. you know. But he's playing a very similar team, so I think it'll, it's actually appropriate that we see this. Yeah, and again, uh, how, how he talked about Ghost Rider. He's, yeah, he's going to oh. lock him down early. Oh, this happens a lot for Ghost Rider because you're trying to mash assist, but yes, you're in block get, you for so the, long. The alpha counter yeah. or process counter assist or whatever. And yeah, Ghost, here's, a, here's a character that actually beats the crap out of Ghost Rider, which is uh, Deadpool. Deadpool. Yeah, anybody who can outzone Ghost Rider, like, he can't catch you. Like, he's too slow. Yeah. See, this is what he should do. Just ninja gifts, come down with or land, jump guns. And, uh... But I think I think really is like is high and nasty. Does he know how to play against Ghost Rider? No, not at all. You can tell that he's trying to maul Ghost Rider when really he should just be zoning him with guns. Be patient. Yeah, and, but here's the thing about uh, I remember if, uh, a tighter fight that Champ brought up to me, and he said the reason Ghost Rider works on this team, where naturally I just think he's a pretty crappy character, yeah. is that I have Phoenix, so they have to eventually come and fight me. Right, know? and and um, Ghost Rider, gets, Ghost a Rider gets a lot of meter. He, doesn't, he doesn't really use it. it so. Yeah. 
So, so Wesker is in and doing work now. Yeah, so that's kind of an interesting dynamic with his team in Ghost Rider, whereas when I was playing him with like a Sentinel team, you know, and some recycled You couldn't really use it. Yeah, I couldn't really use him because I'm just like, well, I'm not doing damage, and you have no reason to engage when you just run away from me. So, so Haim Nasty is actually looking pretty strong right here. Good I guess position. you could say that. I mean, uh, this well, he has two very healthy characters against a Ghost Rider yeah. that's almost dead, and I, I guess we got a level 5 Phoenix. So but. it's kind of even. Um, Sam's going to, yeah, OTG go for air throw probably. Oh, oh gets hit. <laughs> you got to protect your neck for school, man. So here we go. Yeah. This is it. And yeah, this is terrible. You don't want to get touched by Phoenix at all. I mean, really, I would like to see Wesker just die, and I want to see Scrawl versus Phoenix. Phoenix That's yeah, all I want to see. Just cause. But this is, uh, he did the smart thing, which was he put Ooh. in Wesker to fight right, because he go. knows he might die instantly and then have level 3 skull. Yeah, and so you get and some life exactly back too. That's going to happen. So here comes level 3 skull and we see air activation or something. Yeah, you, oh, ooh. he tried the same he trick. Messed, messed that, up the timing. Yes, I think he should have just air activated honestly, but he tried what worked last time which was he came in and did super mm. and the invincibility frames goes bit, through all goes, those traps. Well, a little bit. Enough time to see, activate, but he should have just activated right on the get-go to see things. Oh, and uh, just as a little bonus, there's actually $40 on this match. Yeah, so one of these guys isn't going uh, going home broke. They get some gas money back. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long drive out here. Yeah. And yeah, wasting super. I don't know. I don't think Wesker needs to really use super for Ghost Rider. I would just mix them up. and. Well, Sandal's going to come in with oh, yeah, about 25% health here. Oh, yeah, I didn't even see that. And it should die oh, quick. That oh, was, gets the that air was throw. a bad mix-up. Oh, he, he doesn't do anything, right? Well, tried meter. That. It's all the yeah, meter. Yeah, exactly. You can't do anything, but... So here's what we've been saying, which happens now, which it used to be she would come in with probably like 4.5, but now she comes in with 3.5. Well, and even if she did come in with this 3.5, there's a good chance that she would get 5 by the time it. she dies. Now but it now, takes forever. And oh, she's going to be dead without done. this. Wow. Nice trick. <laughs> and he, like, does, he just level 3s. Yeah, he just, just lands X-Factor's Meteor Smash, and Champ's sitting there scratching his head like, why'd you just X-Factor? And then he just got grabbed. And kill it before he even had a chance to get meter. That command grab is dirty. It's, it is very dirty. It's like a half screen yeah. command grab. It's about that. It's very slow, but I mean, X Factor it compensates. But you're just not even expecting that. Yeah, you're it not that you're far. just down blocking, you know, like any normal human being would. <laughs> <laughs> All right, goes there. here's that quasi unblock. Oh my button. god, Sentinel. Wow, is... he's not even going to have a chance to gain meter in this match. This Phoenix is just going to come in and get beat up. This is how the Phoenix uh, matchup is playing up. Yeah, it just doesn't look good for her anymore, man. And then you do always have like the stuff where you could steal her meter, you know, with like strange. Right. Like there's the all this stuff going against her now. I just don't like her chances. Well, Ryan is definitely known to be good with, with the regular Phoenix. So. Right. You know, I, that's true. Wow, he just gets. He loves getting he's hit just, by these supers. Yeah. And he's, he's just done. gonna finish it, man. Are they playing two out of three, or what's this first to five? First to three. So, okay. First to three. So all right. First to three. So hot, nasty. Is Ryan gonna change. He's yeah. gonna change. I think. I don't know, what's he going to play? Doctor Strange team? I, mean, I don't know, I think he's had enough of this uh, exhibition of Phoenix getting blown up by Skrull. Yeah, I mean, Phoenix has been exposed. Let's put it, let's just put it as it is, you know? Strange, Strange. Touch of death. Strange, I don't, I, I don't like this. I think Strange does good versus uh, Super Skrull, but here's the problem with Strange. Like, he, yeah, he might be able to counter all the, like, meteor smashes and all the teleports and stuff like that, but, like, if, if, if Skrull just runs up and commands grab him, he can't do anything about it, you right. know? Just raw teleports. Wow, Ryan's starting again, off pretty poorly here. Yeah, again, this keeps happening. Wesker is just beating everybody up. It seems like nobody knows what to do versus oh. him. Accidental air liberation right there. Was that, that actually, does that actually cost him a uh, no. power-up? No, well, it free, does. Right? Oh, it does. But, but you don't have a power-up, so. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, that's what happens when you do liberation without any power Okay, up. So you just get the little, little bubble pop. Yeah. Oh, God, man. Wesker has just done a lot of work <laughs> in his team, and I don't... This oh, is this impossible. Is free. Yeah, this is free. He could do 100% right here if he knows the combo. I think he does. Here it is. So, yeah. I, I at least like seeing this combo. It's very cool. Yeah, ding, ding, ding. So he gets 100%. <laughs> he's going to set up an eye. Yep, he's going to slap it, teleport. Yeah, typical strange. Uh, let's see if he has any. Oh, oh he teleports hit. right into that one. Okay, so here's the thing. He stayed in the corner, which was that thing you were talking about. Oh, and yeah, went for a wow. loop. Is he going to finish strange with a DHC? Might get him. No, he uh, missed him. He actually dropped oh. him out of it. I would have preferred a level 3, but that works. Another so one, that'll he hit has him. one meter left. Oh, oh, he man, kills he Skull. He might do he's this. He's out of X-Factor, though. That's huge. And But, I mean, almost... Uh, oh, I'm Nasty is almost out here. And he's out, too. So we got an honest match. And he goes ahead and burns a bar. Oh, he's out he of meter him. now. He's out of meter. Oh, poor Strange, oh, wow. man. Look at his pokes. They're What's just, he going to do? They're hideous. 
The what? counter. Oh. oh, but he was mashing buttons and caught him. Hi, I'm Nasty. He's going to take it again. Wow. Salty run back goes to him and the $40. Champ goes home. Salty as usual. Yep, empty handed. No tournament. No grudge match money. Nothing. Is Champ exposed because Dark Phoenix is crap now? I don't know. I think he's. Not, I don't know if he's exposed. I think he just really needs to. Oh, it looks like I see X Ray standing up like he wants to fight somebody. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see him versus somebody. I think Champ just needs to spend some time with the game. Yeah, in your characters. Yeah. Maybe just work with Phoenix a little more, but figure some stuff out. I don't know. Well, yeah, Phoenix has to put in work if you're going to win with her now. It's not so it just. Like, it looks like X Ray is going to take a seat. Oh, is this just casuals then? Just X Ray and Champ, or what is this? Yeah, it's just just, just casuals. casuals. So, okay, first, another first three match. Okay, so, so we're gonna have this money match, which is the first of three. Uh, of course, X Ray versus Filipino Champ. We didn't see X Ray today at the we tournament. Didn't. So this is his time to shine and say this is you know this is why uh, I should have been in this tournament. Not those other guys, but uh, I mean, then, who would you put him in there though for? To be honest, well, the, you, you could. I, mean, I don't want to. Yeah, you don't want to blow anyone up. Yeah. But I, I meant it more as a uh, like there was a lot of killers in the tournament, yeah, and yeah. it's like hard. Somebody to, had to go, to right? Pick. Somebody had to go. But um, I guess you know you just make the argument that he like top eight in Evo. Right? No, I mean like he should have been an Insta. Oh, I see what you're saying. Insta grab. Yeah, that's but, true. But yeah, inconsistencies probably his downfall and just not putting his face out there enough, which is hard to do, man. It's but hard that's to travel, what he's, you know. He's doing right now. He's doing right now. Uh, and of course, after this, we're gonna have Dasabro versus Hanzo Gonzo. Yeah. Versus a, a goofy match. The goof, 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 goof troop yeah, match. It's a goof troop match. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're gonna get. And that, will, that match will be the end of the match. Yeah, That'll that be the night be, cap. Yeah, that's gonna be it. But uh, again, everybody, thanks for tuning in and watching the the, the whole tournament. Um, you know, we got to show off a lot of our new technology with the replays. Yeah, and hope like you guys that. enjoyed so thanks, the replays. Yeah, thanks, Chris CG, uh, aka Shinobi, does the stuff. The best man in the nerd show. He is the best in the biz. And of course, Hans for streaming this at Southtown Arcade. This place is awesome. If you live in the Bay Area, this is you know your uh, your, your uh, San Francisco mecca right now. So right, right. come over here. They love King of Fighters. They love all fighting games, really. I uh, think King of Fighters is definitely a premier fighting game over, over here. here. Yeah, they love it, man. And uh, you know they want to go to SoCal and do some damage. But uh, so Ryan's not looking good right <laughs> yeah, away, man. Meanwhile, X-Ray is just mauling Champ. <laughs> and With Dante, nonetheless. Champ is playing a team which I feel like this is what he should start investing time in. Right. This team. And uh, I feel like you should play Sentinel last, but... Uh, it's sort of like MSS with MSD. I don't yeah. know what... <laughs> MSD. Oh, Oh, he got a happy huge. birthday with that, that medium. That standing medium punch is amazing. Ouch. I know people love to mash crouching medium, but standing medium punch... armor. It's very good. Yeah, but standing it's medium fast. punch is that anti-air. It's everything. Oh, counter activate by uh, Champ right there, and he gets smacked out of his super. And X-Ray is putting the pressure on with Magneto. You can't punish that next back to level 3. Wow. Oh, he's level two. Sorry, he's sentinel in the back still. And it's this true. Magneto is looking really crispy right now. Very oh, fast. This is yeah. what we were saying. Uh, Magneto like at level three is very fast. Very fast, and you know this is kind of it feels more comfortable, I think. You know, because this is what the speed they're used to. Oh, nice. he, did, he did that little grab. Yeah, gravitation, get a couple more hits out of the yeah, um, smart out of the super. Very smart. So here's a matchup that you gotta like Magneto with all that meter. Oh yeah, for sure. And he's just gonna chuck plasma. If Sentinel gets too cute, oh, and he he's pushes gonna super him, him. Yeah. I really like that he's using that new move. Not a lot of people are using it now. At least, at, at least not as a maneuver. They use it as a combo ender and stuff. Yeah. Oh, scooped Ooh, him up. That could hurt. It's is gonna be, be a force. Yeah, it works. It's only a couple hits. So. Nope. Playing very, very patiently at this point. He does not want to run into Sentinel's clunky normals. And I mean, uh, something to note here is is the nerf on the disruptor. The standing medium punch again. Wow. Yep. And it anti airs him. You could tell actually he didn't want that. He actually tried to fly and then uh, car fly out. Yeah. And he just got a standing fierce. And he was kind of dumbfounded by it. Fell down <laughs> in a standing medium punch. And yeah. Lost that match. So first one goes to Champ. And uh, Champ playing his non Phoenix, non Strange team. This is more of an honest team. I feel like you should have played this team from the beginning. Right. I. I think that he just felt so attached to the Phoenix team, like, and, and giving him that, a lot of success. Bit of that pride, he doesn't want to get exposed, you know, and be like, "Look, Phoenix can still do it. It wasn't Phoenix. It was me, but it was actually Phoenix." It was actually <laughs> Phoenix. Well, so. we'll see. He gets scooped, socked, and he's gonna give him some robots. Some drones. You gonna kick him up? Yep. yep. He gets the full combo. Oh, nice. he tries to go for more, but get, yeah, actually, X-Ray's on top of that one. Uh, X-Ray was definitely hitting the right exchange right there. Oh, he bops him. Yeah, he clobbered him right there. Doesn't even need his super. 
Nope. See what kind of mix up he has on an incoming character. Oh, he goes for the jumping mediums. <laughs> it's a good move, goes really far. He stays out of range uh, for a lot of West Coast attacks. Oh, he got him with that standing, standing medium, medium again. Again, I think Sentinel players need to use that a lot more. All right. Yeah, he's gonna kill Wesco for sure. Ooh, it's yep, close. everything. Wasted all, man. Level 2 X Factor, but going against a uh, level 3 Magneto again. Now. Yeah, he's gonna play power up time. And this could be really tough, man. Like, if Domamu plays this right, he could basically have power ups. Yeah, he's still gonna get hit. Wow. I'm surprised he blocked those uh, drones plus Domamu yeah. stuff at the beginning of that. Oh, and he drops his combo. These new Magneto combos are killing people, man. Oh, that's it. Champ 2 0. Champ 2 0. I'm a little salty. Oh, but he's still looking a little. Yeah, he's 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 not warm. Like Champ's been playing all day. Yeah. You know, uh, X-ray. Sorry, just shows up and he's like, all right, I have to play now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it, I guess. Yeah. Oh, and he oh, gets and he bold. Goes. He's just gonna probably X-factor super super and just get rid of this. Ching. Oh yeah, he doesn't even need to waste a bar. Just, just slam, slam down him. lightning legs. Yup. Acid rain. Nice. So he gets some time to mix up. Ooh. Ooh. So fast. Yeah, he's that's gonna kill him. Yep. And he's gotta do the old school combo. Interesting Wait. thing about that. He doesn't that have move. any meter to, to go out of this though. The uh, sky dance when it hits like that actually resets the ground bounce. I don't oh, know really? why. I don't know why, but it does. Not many moves Whacked. I would think do that. Uh, I, I don't think of any do that, but yeah, it's just a really strange thing about Dante. He has all these really weird uh, properties to moves that like, huh. don't exist with any other characters. Interesting. And he's just raw super. super. I think he's just like, why not die? He gets a power oh, up. I like how he got the power yeah. up before he did that. Smart. Smart. And he always does the big boom. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I love meteors. How? I think I think a lot of Dormammu players, um, they have like their own, what they like. Yeah. You know, their own spells. It's kind of interesting yeah. that he can end up being like that. All right. So X-Ray getting a little more warm here, feeling himself a little more. It's two two. Looked a little more comfortable that time. It's one two actually. Oh. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. My bad. It's all right. And then yep. Doesn't finish it, looks for a reset, goes for Stinger, probably in oh, a teleport. Magneto. Yeah, he's gonna kill Magneto here for sure. Oh, he misses the uh, Clay Pigeon right there, yeah. Stinger, to, he's probably want to teleport, that's what usually he does. Stinger plus Wesker, teleport, and then comes down with the unblockable. How safe is uh, Dante Stinger? Um, well, he can't bull cancel it on whip, so it's not safe. Okay, but on he's block, covering it with... On block, he can bull cancel it, oh, okay. which basically means he can cancel it in any special or jump or, okay. uh, you know, super. But he's also covering it with Magneto's Disruptor, Yeah, too, so. exactly. That's kind of the mix-up. It's like, call Magneto, Stinger, and teleport behind them. Yeah. So then it all like, collides at once. Like, right. Stinger holds him in place long enough, like, right before the block stun deteriorates, yeah. then Magneto hits him in the face. So it's kind of a tricky setup. Pretty solid. Yeah. And again, Ross Super. I have to imagine he's not meaning to do that. I hope not. Unless he's trying to bait something stupid from Champ. Because it's not paying off. Yeah, it's not paying off. Right? So he's going to set some stuff, get some spells. Now I go for Teleport Mix-Up. I really want to see Champ do Dark Matter Teleport Mix-Up. He's playing old Dormammu. He's not playing new Dormammu. Oh, he got you mixed know? up there on the cross-up. And I think we're going to get a dead Dormammu yeah, here. Yeah, we're going to get 2-2 two -two for sure. And he's just going to go ahead and Super. He can X-Factor if he wants. doesn't need to, though. Wow. Good stuff, Always right? good when you end it on that last. Yeah, that last hit, because he usually does like no damage. So. Boom. <laughs> KO. It's Dante, man. You gotta be stylish. Yeah. That, that actually is his whole thing. Yeah. Oh, man. He's playing that Ryu from Breath of Fire color, Dante. <laughs> I don't like that color. I like the camo Dante. That's my favorite one. Camo, yeah. yeah. So, Dante, you know. I really, not that I don't like him in this version, he just doesn't feel comfortable for me, but actually, you know, when I see good Dante's, I just get that itch to play like him you again. You want to keep yeah, playing him. Yeah, I want to play him again, man. And then you start playing him, and then you're like, and then oh, I just God, lose, yeah. I hate this guy. No, the new, the new crack is Spencer. <laughs> new, yeah, Spencer seems that very guy cheap. Is, I'm surprised we didn't see him at all today. Oh, my God. I just don't think people in NorCal know about it because they're not exposed to good ones, you they're, know. Well, we let the cat out of the bag on that. Yeah, just wait. When, when, when I get my Spencer with those leopard print pants on. <laughs> <laughs> we showed that to you yesterday. You yeah. didn't even know he had that. I didn't that. even know he had that, man. Hagger got him, too. Yeah, so you could, you could, everybody can play like some leopard Swag team out. if they wanted. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Champ's going to do the meteors this time. Far meteors, I hope. It, oh, he likes the, the Light other. Light columns. Oh, no, he did the far meteors, which is smart, but... He got bodied. Yeah. Oh! oh it drops. That's very that was the match combo. right there. Yeah, it was. It was essentially the match. It was, it did, for sure it was the match. Yeah. Went for the air grab. Oh, he got scooped. Scoop for trouble level three. Nope, and he mistimes that. So oh, he, he has gets the X out. Factor. Oh, he almost got him both almost, again. Yeah. He almost got him both, but he almost got mixed up too by yeah. chance. 
Scramble. The scrambles are very dangerous in this game. Scrambles in this game are all your health now. Right. <laughs> oh, and he finally catches them. Just keeps teleporting around that screen, knowing that the Stalker Flare is going to have to come over there. Ryan's kind of using uh, some Dalsum Yeah, Dalsum has fixed. Oh, he catches him with a random gravity squeeze. Wow. Burns his X Factor. Oh, nice. That crouching medium punch. He's going to get level one super here. This That's one's going to go to the damage. end, too. It's going to be a close match. Yep. And he puts up uh, some pillars. Yep, trying to zone Magneto, oh, got, but you got to watch got out. so fast. X-Ray should have hit there, but just misjudged his distance a little. See, I don't like the big boom, and here's why, because it's not a one frame activate. Oh, okay. He can't, oh, you also, can get hit out of it. Yeah, you can get hit out of it, exactly. Only meteors. And that was only really a problem, well, that was a problem in vanilla. You yeah. can get hit out of all your stuff, All right? your stuff. So it was like, why use the spells? I'm just going to do teleport and flight mix-up, you know? Yep. Oh, X-Ray oh. looking pretty good here. It's like, that's got it. it. Got it. Yeah. Champ. Ryan's getting beat up. Losing them all. Is this the first of three or first of five? Oh, Champ acting like he didn't know it was first of three. That's okay. We'll see. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. And that's it? Yeah. They're not gonna they're not gonna honor it. <laughs> so, so we yeah, so we, uh, we don't have time for it. Yeah, so. we I mean I would love to say I, I can sit here and watch him play all night, but uh we gotta get things moving. Oh yeah. Wait, what's going on? Okay. We're talking oh. about something here. Yeah, okay, so yeah, wow, we're doing yeah. more so, matches. So we're talking about we're running out of time. We gotta, you know, pack things up. But uh, we're the guys okay the, for some yeah, more. The guys who run the arcade are generous enough to let us keep playing, run some more grudge matches for you guys at home. Um, you know, I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. And you're Again, seeing, you're seeing the money coming uh, out of his wallet here. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a real money match. It's yeah, just, this is fake money. Yeah. This is this is a funny match. This is a monopoly money. Looks very much like our new twenty dollar bills. <laughs> <laughs> All right, again, guys, I am Magus1234, joined here by Parker. You could follow me on Twitter if you give a damn about what I'm talking about, at Magus1234. And uh, I am uh, Parker B. Slompo. Yeah, so follow him, too. Go ahead and hit us up. Uh, let us know. Let us know how crappy we are, how much you love us. Either one's fine. Um, and I, I got to give a quick shout-out to uh, Terry Kaneda. Okay. Uh, he's, he made this shirt I have on today. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, but anyways, uh, he's been a great person. He's been helping me out, and uh, he also helps SRK. And... Uh, Check out his stuff. Yeah, those guys put this together. The Cannon Brothers and Terry Kaneda and everybody who really works at SRK, you know, they all do a great job. The website's come a long way, man. You yeah. know, I was around for so long, SRK didn't even have a front page once upon a time. Right. People don't even know that. Well, they probably do. Just forums. It was just forums. I mean, yeah. there was a front page, but it was never updated. <laughs> it was a huge joke. And Now, now you, it's a legitimate website. Now it's a legitimate website. I mean, it's always been a legitimate website, but now it has a great front page. It's something you can actually visit to yeah. see what's going on in the community and everything. Just like I play Winner, and of course, you could always check I play Winner for all the news, everything that's going on at NorCal. You want to head there to see what we're doing, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and yeah. check out... Uh, Canada.com. That's yeah. also that's Terry's personal site. Yeah, and you uh, said he just came in a stock with some of the old shirts. Some uh, old shirts and new shirts. And he new has got shirts. some new stuff. They go quick, so definitely go check out his yeah. store. And speaking of shirts and new shirts, you know who came out with some new ones is uh, Kugio Broken Kugi, Tier. Yep, Broken Tier. Yeah, those, uh, he got the Rocket Raccoon, and I'm forgetting what the other one was, so I apologize about that, but the Rocket Raccoon one's really dope. It's like the sick art of him, and it just says Napalm on it. <laughs> and if anybody out there plays Rocket Raccoon and is like, this character is garbage, why'd they put him in the game? That's just not true. We played Bucktooth last night. Oh, yeah, he destroyed us. Yeah, and he destroyed us with Rocket Raccoon. It's really funny. Are we going to be showing that? Or you just, uh... Oh, that's the other. Thank you, yeah. No, oh, yes. I, I didn't even remember that's what it was. But, yeah, the other shirt is, of course, uh, it's one of the clockwork. Uh, oh, Strider that's right. Strider, yeah. Strider, Strider, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, those are all very cool. They're brand new, so get out there, buy them. Right. And we're in the match. And we are in the match. Again, this is... This is a grudge match. This is a grudge match, a goofy match, whatever you want to call it. These guys are fighting for who the goofier, whitier guy is. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the, the most goofy white guy in yeah. NorCal? And it's Dacid Bro and Hanzo Gonzo going at it. And he just got smacked in the air. Dacid Bro not uh, looking in prime form this tournament as he did a tighter fight. Wow, wow we're seeing a lot of goofy stuff from Hanzo Juggled Gonzo. by those yeah. missiles. What happened to Hanzo Gonzo with Tider Fight? I didn't even get to see him play. Uh, yeah, I didn't either. He was not on the stream at all. He wasn't. He just got blown up. But today he fought really well, made it all the way to Grand Finals, of course. And uh, 
he got probably choice. probably the worst uh, spot you want to be in the tournament, which is second place. Second place, no there money, is nothing. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, he's playing Dasabro, so he might even lose money. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah. So, so, all right, it's nice to see you. Thank you so much for commentating. You guys yeah, no best. problem. All right, take care. Right. That's right. Get back in the lab. Champ's taking off. Champ is exiting the building. He's smiling, but I know he's crying inside. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's, he's won a lot and he's lost a lot, so. Oh, you this got is it. okay. Here's the other funny thing about this, right? We, we were just talking about that. They just displayed why this is so wonky now. And Capcom really needs to uh, think about this decision they made in the game. So he's mashing back and fierce with yes. hit missiles. Yes. And what do you do? You throw him, right? To get right. A, but you tech. But you tech for free now. <laughs> he's just, do, 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 and you do, do, just do, 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 keep mashing back and fierce. Yeah. yeah. This is like a really kind of like, uh, you know, programming error. I don't know what you call it. Design error. Design the, flaw. Design flaw, yeah, in the game. And I'm not one to talk Those about like missiles, man. Anything, but yeah, like those just, missiles are doing work. In something's this wrong with that uh, uh, feature in the game. Like, yeah. just something is—you could tell something's wrong. Maybe you know? we'll see a patch. I hope they patch it. Otherwise, it's just really strange. Like I've never seen that. You know, like I've never seen in any fighting game I've, I've ever played two people sitting, mashing, mashing throw, throw, and just going tech, tech, tech. How tech, many tech, tech? It was like you versus Bronson, who, by the way, is godlike. In yes, this game. he is a secret. No one will ever see him in a tournament or yeah. anything. But if he, you ever see him at a casual setup he somewhere, is so good. be afraid. Yeah, his. Uh, Nemesis is very scary. Yes, I don't like that. Man. But there was a situation that happened like two or three times with you guys where it was like Hulk and Hulk or Hulk and Nemesis or Hulk and whoever gives a fuck. But like you guys were sitting there and just mashing tech throw about 15 times in a row. It was like we're playing chicken with yeah. tech, but teching. Because if you stop, you're going to get hit. <laughs> and that's and that's another thing about the game is throws mean a lot in this game. Yeah, because you could kill somebody off the throw. Yeah. Now, you know? so, so it's like you're defending your life. By your honor is a man and a button masher, <laughs> goddammit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that's just kind of a, you know, a really wonky thing about this game. I hope they uh, look at at least, you know? Or at least observe it. Like, yeah, look yeah. at it. Uh, maybe hopefully change it, but, you know. That's what's like, going to work, by the way. 2-0 two, yeah. two -oh two -oh. in this money match. <laughs> <laughs> He's cheesing. This, this guy's just always laughing. Hondo Gonzo's like... The, a young version of Sam Kennison or something <laughs> with that hat on. Yeah, he's very goofy looking. Oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> he just needs to put on like uh, 150 pounds. <laughs> and like a trench coat. Yeah. Tweed trench coat. Alright, so uh, finally Hanzo getting a good start in this fight. Looks like, I was going to say, it looks like he's going to kill, but he did the wrong arrow shot right there, which is weird. Yeah, he kind of missed a couple yeah. of that the dam The little bit of damage was those, like, three arrows. I yeah, guess. and I always hate playing Captain Americas when they're in Desperado mode because you know they're just going to start mashing charging stars. And just, yeah, and just, just go hope. crazy. Yeah, and then it's just, like, it's, oh, it's really frustrating to play versus. Well, and then, and then, I mean, as soon as they do that, they're going to DHC out. And of course, like, but that's, like, before they even get that, they get to do, like, five free ones, like, you know, while I'm just <laughs> trying to run away from this. Madman in the bottom doing yeah. charging stars. Taskmaster's going in though. Yeah, he's finally putting in work with that Taskmaster. You can really tell that's like the uh, the heart of his team. Heart of his team, yeah. yeah. So I mean, if there's some criticism, I think is he needs to work on his other characters. On the cast, yeah. Well, here's you know I've always uh, been a fan of playing this way. Is like when you're playing casuals and stuff, is like mix your order up. Like play play your uh, anchor first. Yeah, you've definitely told me that. Yeah, you know, it's like just get to know your team in and out, even in strange order, because things happen. You know, like and you just want you just want more exposure with the character. Like a lot of times you'll see players' first character be their best, not not just because of if anything, like. They just play them the most. Well, you get the you most know? experience. Yeah, exactly. You, you play almost all the characters against him, or that char whatever your first character is, you see yeah. almost everyone. And, uh, but then, uh, you know, like when you watch Tin, who won the tournament, you could tell, like, he had experience with his whole team. whole team, yeah. Like, anybody who came in was just as much as a threat as the next. Right. And I was going to say, actually, while we were commenting on that match, is like, yes, he's going to, uh, Hanzo Gonzo's going to kill, like, Wesker or whoever else, but... Magneto sitting in the yeah. he's in the bed in the back just waiting to just come wait. out. So Hanzo, wow, Hanzo's he's getting hype a, at the end there. He's got a, a an audience and they're smacking him and barely keep his hat <laughs> on his head. <laughs> this is a fun match. Yeah, these guys are just having fun. <laughs> 
Captain America, man, he seems like so crappy on paper. But, oh, but like, I think he's very good. He's very good. Very strong. Great. That jumping S or whatever that is, that move is insane. Or down fierce, I believe it is. Yeah. I, don't, I forget what it is exactly, but its hitbox is so good. And his uh, that flip opens so many yeah. mix-up opportunities. It's just a simple, effective 50-50. Yeah. And now we got Daspo doing his little quirky thing where he likes to devil trigger uh, Virgil and put and him in the back. Put him out, yeah. I don't really, I don't agree with him when he used to, when he told me a title fight that Virgil is an anchor character. I know Virgil's way better in Devil Trigger mode. I just don't think he shines without an assist. Yeah, he, I, he needs some sort of assist to cover his teleport. Yeah. And I mean, he doesn't need it, but it's like that benefits him so much. Why would you yeah, not? Yeah, why would you it? not? Do you it? know. And uh, Amy has it on his team. Taskmaster yeah, could definitely which is perfect, do that. Which is perfect. And so is the shield skill or the shield slash. Right, like, that that's true. That's probably too. even better because yeah. once you back. get to the other side, it's coming back. Yeah, I don't know. Questionable. It is. I think he'll, you know, tinker with his team a little more. Uh, it's it's a cool idea, you know, like devil triggers, stick him in the back, and then fight it out like that. But yeah. I really like. It's Virgil. not as strong. Yeah, as I really having... like Virgil as a point character. Yeah. Like not even second, just first. And he does a lot of damage. He does, and people are exploring new combos with him finally, so we're not just seeing the same like derpy combo. Yeah. So I'm seeing some like a lot of combos with round trip incorporated in them, which is dope. Like outside of the um, sword super. So. Okay. Yeah. So it's pretty neat. He's doing a lot of damage by himself. Now. And I actually really like uh, that's something I like about Virgil, just as a maybe aesthetic and sort of gameplay thing. Is is his supers are really cool. They yeah. do a lot. Like, and there's a lot of things that you could uh, oh, the sword open, super is open amazing. people yeah. up with. You could do. Uh, you could just, if he has a lot of meter, like you. Could just go and be creative. With yeah, that, yeah, know? I like that. Yeah. Oh, oh, Doom's gonna do work. He's keeping a simple combo. That's the, uh, the Virgil's gonna come combo. in with three bars, almost four bars, which means he has that instant murder uh, super, which is uh, in Devil Trigger mode. If he lands, oh, that's right, he's in Devil Trigger mode. So if he lands it, he has access to the level three, which is insta kill. Is he gonna yep. do it? You got it. Boom. Wow. So happy. Oh. They're so happy. He's calling. Him a fraud. Wow. He said, Give me your money, kid. Go <laughs> Goofy guys. These guys are retarded. <laughs> so. Alright, I don't know if that's last of the night or what we're doing, but these guys are getting dummy over here. <laughs> <laughs> it is Saturday. It is Saturday, man. That's a long weekend. This has been a long weekend. I'm, but I'm definitely grateful for it. It's been fun. Uh, I played a lot of Marvel. I feel like I, you know, got better <laughs> this yeah, week. I hope. Like, Me too. I, you know, I got stronger. Um, we are going to have one more match. Oh, we are going to have yeah. one more? Okay. I'm not sure who it is. K-Beast and Crisis. Okay, so the Battle of Godlike Vipers. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to play their Vipers. I think they will. I think as a respect thing, you should. Bob Ross. Bob Ross in the building, <laughs> the 19th Street Strangler. He goes by many names. Today, he just goes by Crisis. And, yeah, he's very strong. Both these guys are very strong. I asked him when I came in here, because, you know, on the ride up here, I was talking about how powerful I thought the duo of Viper and Spencer is yeah. and how they're basically, they're both one-man armies. You know, like, they don't need, or one-woman armies. But, like, you don't even need a team with them. Like, just right, them. Just they them. do 900 on the table easy. That's but crazy to me. it's really crazy. So we're just uh, saying bye to everybody. This is going to be the last it's match. Shout out to Southtown Arcade. Yeah. Shout out to Southtown for letting us do this and be crazy people in here. Yeah. But, uh, and you know, I think they really like it. Yeah, they, I hope they thrive so, off man. that. Right? Like this is <laughs> we couldn't ask for more. It's like awesome arcade culture here, awesome uh, environment, and dope events. Yeah, all the so time. This is two really cool events that has happened uh, within the last three month. Three. The well, three. That's right. There was two of the uh, ultimate NorCal. Fights. It's a really cool setup. I love what you know what Hans is doing and uh, Chris is doing over here on the technical side. They don't, you know, get the exposure because they're not playing. And they're, yeah, all, all my, congratulations, team. congratulations. And uh, yeah, like they don't get the you know the immediate gratification <laughs> and credit that they deserve. But if you've seen you know any of Chris's work, like whether it be bread and butter videos or the replays we Those just saw, bread and saw, butter videos, I yeah, love them. They're amazing, man. And you know when he can make somebody as like hideous as me look good on camera, <laughs> that guy's got talent. So uh, yeah, go watch all those videos because they're just nuts. Uh, I wish I had those kind of skills. And, hey, uh, but at least you have you know someone that does. Well, I bet I'm better than him at Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, questionable. Me, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so, anyways, I was I, I lost my thought, but uh, I think it was oh Viper. That's what I was. So I was talking about how uh, they're just incredible duo. Yeah. Two great characters. Always slept on under the radar. Of course, you see combo fiends, and so everybody's like, yeah, nobody plays him good but him. 
and I just think that's going to be a matter of time. He's got to practice. And it's just a matter of time before everybody learns how cheap he actually yeah. is. But, uh, so, I asked them, I'm like, how do you do the rapid fire size size moves? I just can't do it, you know? And I could do show shows, I could do all kinds of crazy, like, combos. I've yeah. never had technical problems with combos. Yeah. And they're like, just do, like, the DP and end it up. And I'm like, are you guys serious? You know, like, but, uh, I don't know. I can't do it. So, if anybody has any tricks, you know, go ahead and, like, send me a Twitter or something yeah. on how you actually do it, because I can't figure it out for the life of me. And I don't really want to play her unless I can. <laughs> but uh, KB's playing Dante Viper, which I thought he would, and we are going to see... Uh, we got Firebrand. What Crisis believes is like one of the best, character. best team in the game. He always over like exaggerates what, how he feels his characters are, but I don't know, man. Like he's you know, getting blown up. Yeah, he is. But maybe in a month we'll see him with some crazy stuff, you know. And I do respect that the the start of that match. He was trying to use Viper's uh, I beam, yeah. I beam a little bit. I, cool I really move. feel like Crisis. He has that idea, but. He can't make it happen yet. He's, that's where it is. He's uh, like the theory is there, you yeah. know, the construct, everything. Yeah. He makes his team in an intelligent order, but he just doesn't have the actual technical skills yet to do and it. Hopefully, in time, it'll. Well, that's it'll what I'm come saying. In. Hopefully, in a month, you know, we see him come back with some crazy I firebrands. I would like to see this team yeah. actually do well because I, I think firebrands a funny and cool character. Yeah, so. I just want to see him win so we can see his quotes. <laughs> 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 And he's just getting mauled, though. He's getting mauled. Yeah, he's going to roll out of that? No, nope. wow, he still got hit. Dude, KB's execution is otherworldly. Uh, this guy, look at his wave dash. It's so clean. Everything he does is so precise and clean. He gets a little wild sometimes and kills himself. Whoa. But, uh, man, I wish I had technical skills like that. Uh, I just, yeah, I just can't, can't play like that. Too fast. Yeah. I got to think. He's going to go ahead. Again, and get a little bit of extra damage. Oh, oh he slaps Powder him slaps him for the kill, man. <laughs> So 1-0, uh, K-Beast. But uh, I'm sure this is what, you know, this is what Crisis wants. Just more exposure for his really good players to flesh out his team. See if it really is yeah. what he thinks Because I bet, like, you know, if you watch this guy sit at home in training mode, he's doing all sorts of ridiculous stuff. He just doesn't know how to actually incorporate it in a real match. Yeah, and yet. I mean, he did say that, like, his team could kill anyone. Yeah. Like, so... I mean, just sheer damage-wise. Yeah. And I know everybody has that problem. I'm a training mode monster, but... Well, here uh, we go. We might see something yeah, here. See, well, this is off a throw, though, so it's going to scale it, like, uh, a lot. A lot. But still, 60% off the throw, that's nothing to laugh at. Oh, he's going to keep going. 70, Ooh, 80%. Wow. Dang. Dang, he gets the air grab. It looked like that super didn't scale at all. It just did raw damage. You see that? <laughs> yeah, it didn't do a lot. That was weird. Oh. There's that Vajra. It looks like it has, almost has startup. Well, I know it doesn't have startup invincibility, but it almost does because it just phases out really quick, you know? So we're definitely seeing, I think right there, we saw the like synergy, the of, assist yeah. synergy that is going on in this exactly. team. But this is what happens when you uh, rely too much. Even if you think um, C Viper is the best character in the game, she's always the next factor away from dying. Yep. So you can't base a team just off saying, you know, here's my C Viper, and now that I have these teammates to do 100% with, what happens if she dies? You right. Know? Like, you don't have your team anymore. You, you need, exactly, you need a contingency plan here. And uh, I don't know if, you know, if Firebrand and Strider are the best uh, duo. Maybe they are, but. Oh, Scoop. Oh, we're gonna Let's see get what something. he can do. Just super, yeah, why not? Fire. His strider is hurting, but he's regenerating really fast. I love that little dance. Yeah, he just like wobbles around. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing some, yeah, some, this finally starting to look like Firebrand, probably how he wants to play him. Wow, oh, he moved really fast. That was really quick, yeah. Oh, he misses his combo. Uh, that, could, that could bite him. Yeah, that's huge. And Strider, oh, Strider nice. has no life against a character that does an insane does amount of damage. a ton of damage. Oh. oh, and he fell for the bait. He thought he was hitting her, but he was actually hitting the focus attack. The focus attack. attack. Oh, he got out, he got out. Oh, for nothing. All for nothing. Man, C. Viper. Such a crazy character. I'm surprised, like, she doesn't get much play outside of NorCal and, like, you know, maybe a player or two everywhere else, you know? I mean, it, it's funny because she falls victim to the same exact thing she does that she says Street Fighter 4, where she's a really, really, really good character, but nobody plays her. And then there's these few people that play her, and you're like, wow, she is really good. Um, and I think maybe some of it's execution based. I think it takes more. a certain type of player to make her good. Yeah. And there's just not a lot of them. Yeah. You know, like that technical like prowess, like if you have those kind of hands mm -hmm. to do that kind of stuff, man, like, you know, like... I think that's why we see so little, and yeah. the ones we do see are the best because they naturally have that talent, or they just really worked hard, you know? Right. Like, Put a lot of work in. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to call Crisis like a, a technical monster, but he just puts the work in with her, you know? Like, and 
his firebrand's doing work right now. Yeah. Scoop to the wow. corner. And is that a hard knockdown? Yeah, it is. Wow. And he gets he the air scoop. He getting those air throws right there. You should be teching air throws every time now, because you can just mash now. Yeah. Oh, man, the Vajra guard broke him, it looked like, right there. That's a cheap assist. Yeah, man. it's crazy. I can't believe they did that. Nice combo. KB's always with these creative Dante combos. Oh, and he just gets oh, zapped out of the his lasers. rockets, man. It, again, he gets hit by it. I was actually testing on the like kind of durability and what I could do at least with Hulk because I you know Hulk has a lot of armor. Can yeah. I get through that? It, it nullifies the armor and everything. That's tough. So it's three hits. That's or two hits. So. Two hits, but it, it I think it's it gets broken on the first hit. Oh like, wow! So. Oh, and that's that's some of that California incense. <laughs> smell that? I can smell it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and he's going to go Luminous Body. This is where... Uh, oh, I got to play a Firebrand online, and he did uh, X-Factor... Oh, he just got blown up. Wow. X-Factor Level 3, Luminous Body, Firebrand, and he just did Fireball on the ground. It was an infinite combo. <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like he's going to close the deal for the last match of the night. KB's, of course, always zero. finishing with style. Level 3. And that's it. Done. I don't know. They're probably just going to keep playing. Uh, but no, they're packing up, and I think we're all... We're all getting close to the end here, packing up all of everything. Oh, he wanted, he wanted one more match. Just one more match. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was saying this uh, a couple days ago, like, there's always one more match that everybody wants to play. Just one it's more. like they feel like they got gypped or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, it's been a hell of a night. Uh, again, you know, this has been the hello Phoenix, or goodbye Phoenix, hello, hello Phoenix. Phoenix. But really, it was... Goodbye Phoenix, goodbye Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, and you know? goodbye Champ with yeah. the with your Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, and so. Uh, so I hope everybody enjoyed viewing. Of course, we are at Southtown Arcade. Uh, I am Magus1234. I'm joined by Parker. Or, or yeah. Parker, whatever. Uh, whatever you go by. And thanks to everybody who helped out uh, on the technical side, Hans and Chris, Roger, everybody who helps run these things, um, all the guys at Southtown. So yeah. we're going to sign off. I hope you guys enjoyed. Good tournament. It was yeah, fun. It was fun. All right, guys. All right. Have a good night, everybody.
sputtered as he spoke so foul. Only 12 trying to tell me that he liked my style.